What was your initial reaction when you saw what was unfolding last night? First of all, I was shocked. I thought, no, no, this is just a, one of those little scuffles. And then as the game went on or as the vision went on, I was disgusted. I was ashamed. And now I'm angry. I'm still angry. I can't believe it that these morons can destroy an A-League that's been going since 2006. I swear, Jared, I'm just about to pull the plug. Seriously, I am over this. And I'm sure a lot of people are. Maybe we walk away and start all over again. I don't know. That's how cheesed off I am. Mm, yeah, you're not alone in feeling like, like that last night and this morning. How much of a blow do you think this really will be now to the future of this A-League competition? Well, there's got to be a lot of questions after a lot of clubs and a lot of active support of the, each of those clubs. They're the problem. They provide the atmosphere, so much good atmosphere. You won't find it in any other sport in this country. They sing and they shout and they're passionate. And then morons like this do what they did. And it all comes undone. Maybe we should get rid of the active support altogether. Nobody is allowed to go behind the goal mm. at all. You yeah. know, we've got to do something. I can't keep apologising for this all the time. It takes me back to the 80s when I was uh, in England one time and police dogs were channelling the fans to the opposition stadium. It was scary. I've just spoken to a mate who took his grandson. His grandson's going, Dad, oh, Granddad, what's happening? What's ha He'd never seen anything like this before. And he should never see stuff like that again. Something's got to happen. Spanning somebody from life is not good enough, Mr. Johnson. We've got to actually come down and smash these people. Yeah, if they're not banned for life, what sanctions would you like to see hand down to the people involved and potentially the Melbourne Victory Club as well? Jail. Stick them in jail. Why not? Give them a, a record that, I don't know, do something that will affect them for the rest of their life. And I know it's one little thing, but that one little thing over and over and over and over and over and over again, it's really starting to wear thin. Somebody's got to stop it. Why not throw them in jail? Yeah. Do you think a lot of a lot of these active supporters groups, a lot of it's down to this youthful kind of exuberance and maybe not even a lot of them, maybe not even football fans that is going out there actually looking for trouble? Yeah, absolutely. That is spot on, Jared. That is spot on there. And all it takes is for one of them to do something stupid. And all of a sudden, everybody around them gets brave. And then somebody jumps the fence. Hey, great idea. I'll jump the fence too. And all of a sudden, you've got 100 people instead of just on that one idiot's actions. I'm over it. Get that idiot and throw him in jail and get rid of the active support altogether. I'd rather have a quiet stadium, peaceful, where my grandson can go to the football, enjoy himself, and see what the Socceroos got up to over there by watching those three Socceroos from Melbourne City. That's what my mate's grandson wants to go and watch. Three Socceroos playing in the A-League. Wow! And all he got was 20 minutes and a riot. Yeah, such a shame that all that momentum generated from those soccerers of the World Cup was halted by this event. Do you think the Melbourne City goalkeeper, Tom Glover, who was uh, assaulted in the end, will receive any sanction in himself for throwing a flare into the crowd? Yeah, that's a good one, Jared, isn't it? <laughs> I don't know. I really don't know. I mean, he's probably fed up as me. If I was the goalkeeper, I might have thrown it back in the crowd as well. You know, and both sets of fans were doing it. They were all throwing flares. Maybe not many of them, but, yeah, that instigated the running on the park. But that's unforgivable. Um, I, I hope Tom's all right. He must be shaken, not just the blood, but just the whole experience. That was, must have been frightening for him. Absolutely. And this was, of course, triggered by the fans' protest against the league selling the hosting rights of the A-League Grand Final for the next three years. At least that's how it started, uh, selling it to the New South Wales government. Is it fair to say that the events that transpired have negatively impacted any chance that decision uh, had of being reversed? 
I hope so. Please do something about it. I don't mind the walkouts. I did an interview a couple of days ago and I, I said, you know what? This is us fans. This is our game. Don't start selling it just to make up the pennies. That's got to be done somewhere else. And I really, but, and then right at the end, I said, all those who are protesting, no violence. I don't know why I said that. But wow, thank goodness I did. Really. I, I, Walk out, no problem at all. The Western Sydney Wanderers active fans used to walk out to tell the old soccer assault football Australia that they weren't happy. But yeah, oh, I'm so mad, so mad. 